Hinduism, one of the world's oldest and most diverse religions, traces its roots to the Vedas and Upanishads. The Vedas, composed around 1500 BCE, serves as the foundational text offering insights into early Vedic beliefs and practices. The Upanishads, emerging around 800 BCE, delve into profound philosophical ideas concerning reality, a self or Atman, and the ultimate reality, Brahman. These ancient philosophical texts are considered the pinnacle of Vedic thought, encapsulating the essence of the Vedas. Out of the 200 Upanishads, around 108 are commonly known with 13 principal ones regarded as the most significant and called Mukhya or Principal Upanishads. In our Upanishad series, we will be exploring these 13 principal or Mukhya Upanishads and today we will learn about Katha Upanishad. It is divided into two chapters, each comprising three sections known as Vallis. In total, the Katha Upanishad consists of six sections or Vallis. In our previous video, we introduced you to the first Valli or section and saw the story of Nachiketa, the son of sage Vajashravasa, who meets Yama, the deity of death. Let us take a quick recap of the first Valli and summarize the story so far. Sage Vajashravasa initiated a divine offering intending to donate all his possessions to secure a gift. His son Nachiketa noticed the offerings were insufficient for heavenly rewards and questioned his father's choice. In anger, Vajashravasa offered Nachiketa to the god Yama. Nachiketa visited Yama, but Yama was not available for three days. Since he made him wait, Yama granted Nachiketa three wishes. Nachiketa's wishes included release from hell, knowledge of a heavenly fire ritual, and insight into life after death. Yama struggled to answer the last question, tempting Nachiketa with desires, but Nachiketa insisted on seeking wisdom from Yama, leading to a deep conversation about human nature, the soul, and moksha or liberation. The second valli or section emphasizes the existence of Atman or the soul, which is invisible yet ancient and can be realized through meditation or yoga. It states that the essence of the Veda is to liberate man from the shackles of the past and future, guiding him towards blissful existence beyond joy and sorrow. This realization is achieved through understanding the Atman-Brahman connection. Yama asserts that man should not fear anything, including death, as the true essence of man is eternal and unified with Brahman or the Supreme Consciousness. And this is explained through the metaphor of a chariot to illustrate the relationship between Atman, the soul, and the Supreme Consciousness. In this analogy, a chariot is used to represent the human individual and its components symbolize different aspects of the human existence. The Atman, often described as the eternal, unchanging essence of an individual, is likened to the charioteer guiding and controlling the chariot. The chariot itself represents the physical body which acts as the vehicle for the soul to navigate the world. The horses pulling the chariot represent the senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch and smell. These senses provide the means for the charioteer or Atman to interact with the external world, gaining knowledge and experiences. However, if the horses are not properly controlled, they can lead the chariot astray, symbolizing the distraction and uncontrolled desires that can pull an individual away from the true purpose. The mind is depicted as the reins in the hands of the charioteer, which must be skillfully used to steer the senses and control the chariot's direction. If the mind is not properly harnessed, it can become unruly, leading to an undisciplined and distracted existence. The empirical reality or the external world is represented by the path on which the chariot moves. It is filled with various experiences, challenges 
and opportunities that the charioteer or atman must navigate through life's journey the primary teaching of this metaphor is to emphasize the significance of self control and the proper alignment of the various aspects of human existence when the charioteer or atman exercises reason and wisdom and skillfully manages the senses and the mind the chariot can travel smoothly and purposefully along the path of life through this powerful metaphor the katha upanishad emphasizes the importance of self awareness self discipline and the pursuit of self realization by recognizing the true nature of the self and harmonizing it with the physical body senses and mind one can attain inner peace spiritual growth and liberation or moksha from the cycle of birth and death or samsara it is believed that the teachings of the bhagavad gita are drawn from the katha upanishad if the bhagavad gita is a conversation between shri krishna and arjuna placed in the context of the historical event of the mahabharata war the katha upanishad is a conversation between yama and nachiketa just as we have the confusion of arjuna's mind in the beginning of the bhagavad gita we find intense aspiration on the part of nachiketa in the beginning of the katha upanishad thus the third valli explains the connection between the soul and the divine through the analogy of a chariot if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to with us demystified and encourage us to create more insightful and interesting content like this one